anything. Let's see if we can make it happen. We just need to max out Isaac and Max here. So let's play Dizzy, Riggs, and Max. It says Artemis again. Do I want to play Artemis? No, I want to play, um... I want to play an Ares run. Ares swaps the active cannon after each turn, but draws one fewer card per turn, which is definitely limiting. Let's remove two, given that I have fewer cards. Not sure about admin deploy. Lose two basic shots. Max Finite. Max can definitely create infinites. Or ships should come in all black. It is classy. I agree. We can do this all day. But will we? So the cannon that's active is where we shoot from. The cannon that's inactive has armor, taking less damage if hit. Which is pretty sweet. We always get a new toggle cannon each turn. that much damage, so the first enemy is going to be a little tough here. Get rid of shield surge. Yeah, turns like this ain't so good. Deleting cards that aren't attack cards. Since this thing shields, it's going to be a long fight. Too bad. Ah, good old dice roll. Discard two random cards to attack. Or one at zero cost. I like a juke here just fine. Move three spaces in a random direction. Being able to stun stuff is pretty good too. Let's take a juke. FTL meets Spire. Yeah, pretty good description of what this game is. I might die to this elite. Oh, heck yeah, you can shuffle my ship. What do you got? It'll be fun! Looks cool, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. Give me some dodge. immune to this. Not immune to this.
duke him. Give the enemy power drive, but also stun them. Or good old math dot max. Draw ten cards immediately, but two less cards next turn. One of the upgrades is zero cost exhaust. Ten cards immediately, minus one draw next turn. Even stronger, given that we have fewer cards base on this ship. Although the minus draw next turn will hurt even more for the same reason. Button Mash is a nice panic card. Shield three, move sh three to the left, and then get one evade, just in case. Dev said the main inspirations were Into the Breach, Slay the Spire, and Hades. Yeah, the, the way that... Everybody's got comments on the situation and things that happen during the run is kind of Hades inspired. Hmm. Oh yeah, and the upgrade has retained. Normally it doesn't have retain. Let's try a math dot max. Although that's not gonna help me against George, huh? Hmm. Concerning. George is going to be a huge pain. So George fires back. Temporary payback. That part's kind of annoying. Safety overrides causing immediate draws can be real trouble for us. Don't want a math dot max. Now we want to use Math Op Max to draw the safety overrides before the retaliation effect is in play. That sounds pretty important. Take that. Now I don't draw anything during the trap turn. Does Edmund deploy work on safety override? No. Okay, we do take one hit in retaliation there. That's fine. those, thankfully. Could have been bad. Keep saying we should just leave. Boom. Alright, that wasn't too bad of an elite. Add a static noise to your draw pile. Well, in hand, everything exhausts. I like lazy barrage, too. 
Shoot for one, move the enemy to the right. Shoot for one, move the enemy to the right. Shoot for one. There's also overclock. Add two to the next status that you gain, which could be very powerful. Status including evade and shields and such, but also buffs like retaliate. Nitro PT with the prime sub in the three months. Thank you for the continued subportage. Yeah, there's both Barrage and Lazy Barrage. They're kind of similar, except for who moves. Yeah, minus four cards on Math.Max. Hmm. Memory Leak seems okay. Shield and Temp Shield don't, clipper, don't trigger boost anymore. It's good to know. I'm going to take a Lazy Barrage. Choose a card that does not retain. Give it retain. Or heal for more. I like retain on Juke. I like retain on Juke. Sticky Juke. What's the upgrade on Juke? Four or two and one real evade. Start with upgrading, I think, block shots. We need a damage upgrade. We can add one more shot to this, or we can move. Curious. Two of eight on turn one, very useful. And now it's jumbo time. Weapons are hot. All of our ships. Good question. So we shoot, they move here, we shoot, they move here. Looks like we moved over two. It's pretty good protection, actually. We just move over one. Tuggle the cannon, take only one. Stack some dodge. I'm immune to this! You fool. Seems good to me. GG, nerd. Hand cannon. I've had really good luck with hand cannon in the past. It's not that good with a ship by default, but with math.max, it's very strong. And I like Fracture Detection too, meaning an enemy part is always brittle. Although we have to figure out where is brittle. Don't like that. Math.max always draws hand cannon here. That's a pretty good turn. Let's see if we can hit the weak point. Not there. That's what the hand cannon's for. Look at that gun. And I just redraw Math.max. Easy. No hand cannon this time, though.
There's the weak point. Which means this is still pretty good. I also like Lazy Barrage here. Nice shot. Boom. Do I want a charge beam? Spacer can be okay. I think Spacer. That works with hand cannon well enough. Please upgrade this. Send me into the crystalline entity fight. Just as I am. Too early for this. Ha. Ha, indeed. And cannon, baby. Time for you to move. So taking only two damage, actually. So we roll as a full block. Should armor the whole ship. I agree. Why don't we do that? the hand cannon. Question is, where's the weak point? Might not matter. Exhaust. For the rest of combat, all exhaust and single-use cards cost nothing. Make a temporary copy of your last most, most card or strafe is back. Strafe is fun every time. Give me that. Every tenth time you draw a card, play an energy is very good. Although a bit weird with this ship. On the first turn of battle, draw one extra card and gain one extra energy. Choose a card that is not buoyant and make it buoyant. So this could be enough energy to play Strafe on turn one, plus also drawing Strafe on turn one. That's really good. Or the Genesis. Just having Strafe in, pl in play at the start is really nice, though. Let's do that. Bottle Strafe. And then upgrade Strafe to be two damage variant. Engines powered up. Bye. Bye. Rip. <laughs> I found the weak point. <laughs> I guess Scramble is really good, now that we have Strafe. Let me 
Got him. Oh yeah, Strafe is also really good for finding the weak point in the first place, right? Become more powerful. Did you know we're running an upcycling program here? Please turn admin deploy into something else. Okay, and rage is cool. Make the enemy stronger, but also stun it. And we're looking for anything that gives more evasion. Upgraded scrambles are pretty good. Let's upgrade the scrambles. The jet thrusters are working great. Allegedly. Where's your weak point? Not there. Barrage. GG. Mm. Almost. Three max hole, I like it. On the weak point. Ships like this is pretty easy to find because they have so few locations. Black. Completely dead. Prepare is more card draw. I don't necessarily know if I want more card draw, but uh, the ship, it seems okay, actually. Sure. More energy on turn one is really nice. Armor on the missile bay is also pretty good, meaning we're armored in two out of four locations. What does Strafe do? Each time we move, Strafe fires a two damage shot. It's a power that we uh, draw on turn one every time. Take the prep batteries. Oh, sweet. And we have, um... Oh, no! The movement one is not here. We've got Bruise, Lightning in a Bottle, and Buckshot. None of these are the the one that moves three times. No, Waltz. That's right, Waltz. Bummer. Thanks, I guess. Please upgrade this. Remember when we tried to impress our first crush by drinking a gallon of milk? What are you doing? <laughs> the dirty secrets are coming out. <laughs> That's great. Like all at once, or? <laughs> What are you doing? Right, can I find the super weak points? Q. 
Can hand cannon for nine. I guess ten. It's pretty good. We could do better though, right? Okay, neither of those are the weak point. Let's just scramble. Scramble and block shot. Scramble effectively does six damage, right? Maybe more? side here and take comparatively little damage. Some strength to the boss, but I'm not afraid. Juke him. Blam. GG. Can the weak part be on an armored part? No, all parts have a max of one modification. As you note. Discard all your cards, draw five, or just draw a bunch without discarding. This is even better. High frequency intercom offered after the second boss. I was wondering if this was even possible. Gain shield every turn, but take whole damage if you're full. Or every time you gain shield, gain temp shield too. I think more card draw makes us much stronger with the ship, so let's take high frequency intercom. We're forced to take card rewards now, but that's not that big a deal. We are ready for this. Maybe. There's the weak point. Easy peasy. Juke him. Boom. Yeah, strafe is really strong. Take a stun charge. That can stun an enemy part. Or panic B. Attack for zero. Move randomly two. Shield one. Attack for zero again. That seems odd. But yeah, strength is definitely putting in the work here. Getting a hail from a research vessel. The Duplatron. Not sure duping strife is actually any help. Math.max is probably a better duplication here. This one. And yeah, they'll all be buoyant, right? So I can't I can't play eight energy of cards on turn one. Let's dupe math.max. Just one time. Not four times. He gave us one chow there. Guess you get more if you dupe it four times, right? The gamma rays you mentioned last time, is that safe? Huh? No, absolutely not. Lingering at this range around the cobalt is very bad for your health. 
Oh. Then we better get this fight over with quick. Agreed. Smith. With his stupid homing missiles. Jerk. What a jerk. There's the weak point. The cockpit is the weak point. Classic. And cannon to the face. Rip Smith. Ooh, stun charge A. Two stuns is really strong with Strafe. Quite like that, actually. It's like a Legavulin. Sleepy. your weak point. Oh well. Damn, we're kind of OP. Another stun charge, eh? Let's keep doing it. And give me the shield memory, allowing us to retain shield between combats. Is anyone else getting a really bad headache? Give me Riggs cards. Whiplash. Oh, this is great. Move left, attack, move right. So attack three times for one energy. Excellent. And draw a card if we miss a shot for any reason. I like it. Flippable. Two strength total stun. Rage B. Heck yeah. We've got this. All right, commence the chaos. Found your weak point. Good turn one. Good fight. Branch prediction. If fired on, we'll completely move out of the way right. We can get auto dodge. I have to take one of these cards. Might as well take the one I've never taken. What's the upgrade to that? Hodge the other way. 
Dodging left is better than dodging right, because attacks go from left to right. And it is moving, right? Jet thrusters are ready. Block, don't use any evade. I kind of like that. works okay here. Works really well, actually. Let's go branch prediction, toggle the cannon. In the turn I dodge and shoot, dodge and shoot. Take one damage. That's pretty good. I don't think we want to use the stun charge. Yeah. Good turn for enrage. Toggle the cannon, fire the lazy barrage. I don't like that. Now we're taking zero. Um, so maybe just play trash? There's no need to enrage it now. Keep the juke. Another really good case of branch prediction moving us out of the way automatically here. Although attempting to do whiplash. We can just stun the crap out of the middle of this thing anyway. Yeah, that's fine. We should try to find the weak point over here if we can. If I can hand cannon for eight, the weak point, that'd be great. Not there or there. Unfortunate. here now. Joke's on you, we meant to miss. Exactly. Let's 
just do this. Prepare for next turn. Excellent. Alright, I suspect the weak point's over here, so let's find it. There it is. Uncharge Whiplash does some cool stuff here. And then we just... Branch Prediction, I get another free shot. Toggle the cannon, and raise the shields. Blaps. Love the strafe build, very cool. We're a little bit out of evasion right now, concerningly. Shoot him! Alright, good shot. Good enough, anyway. Uh, hand cannon shield surge seems fine. Now we can enrage. Strength, it won't matter if you're dead. GG. GG. Who shall it be this time? Max, your final memory, please. I'm not sure I totally understand what your place is in all this, but I think you're trying to help us save the universe, so I appreciate it. The universe is infinite and in no danger. The local time knot which we are trapped in is also infinite, but an infinitely small fraction of the larger infinity. I see. And the time knot is in danger? Oh yes. Big danger. 91 seconds before the accident. Okay, solder that wire here. Keep that grounded. Got it. Serial device detected. Matching data rate. Whoa, it's working. Wait. Shh. Isaac is coming. Don't say anything. Hey, guys. Isaac, check it out. We plugged Cat into the core. I hope that's okay. Huh? I promise you won't be mad. How can I even be mad? What you just said doesn't even make any sense. Why not? The core is a crystal in an antimatter containment field. You can't just plug something into it. No, but we can plug her into the antimatter beam holding the crystal. Oh, you... you did that, huh? Alright, this is a mess. We're gonna take this all apart carefully, starting with... Core temperature exceeding 120%. Emergency shutdown! Reset voltages to idle. Venting reactor core. Uh-oh. Personality core override. I pulled the plug, but the core is still critical. Hello? Containment failing. What are you creatures? You should not be here. Wait, there's someone in the core. Riggs.
Riggs was in the core. All right, now we just need Isaac's final.